So you can see how this has been rounded from a previous polish and plating job. So we'll use the lapping machine to bring back those sharp lines and those sharp contours and then replate it. So this tool just won't cut it. Now I've got every tool or every size available for these tubes with the outer spline. But because these are brass and they're worn out, nothing will actually hold it. So I've got, you can see, loose loose too small too small and these are all the complete sizes so what I'm going to have to do is use an inner spline like this one and then try and just ram it in and give me some sort of if I ram that in and create a friction fit um, it will damage these but I'll replace them anyway so that's what I'll do to remove them and if I don't remove these then I won't be able to finish the case nicely So I'll wedge that in now with some force and as you can see you can see how worn that outer spline is So these two are absolutely buggered now, I've had to ruin the little o-ring seat for the o-ring. So we'll replace these with some modern steel ones. So from that you can see somebody has used some sort of Loctite on there. So we should assume there is some Loctite on the tube as well. So let's just soften that up. Stubborn little bugger, this one. There we go. That is one long ass tube, huh? Look at that. 
Jedi Master. So look at the state of these. I could reuse them. Or I've got some steel ones which I can plate. Because these are for the steel version of this case. You can see some of the coppering, some of the coppering that's sh shining through. But from the old catalogue pictures, it does seem like that this whole top section is brushed and then this bit is sort of mirrored. See the layer of copper underneath all that gold. See how straight that line is getting now. This one is still a little bit wonky, but we'll get there. So now you can see, you can see that line is joined up with that lug here similar on the other side so I think we'll move on to this section now So I've caught it at the top, which is the wrong angle, so I need to adjust it so I get all of that. So from that you can see how much the case was rounded incorrectly on the previous polishes. The top and the bottom are not even catching yet. So let's carry on. Still got those deep pits there. So 
some tool marks there. Now these things are so worn and they're not solid so there isn't much material I can take off to straighten that out but I'll give it a try anyway. Need a little wash. Oh, let's check it out, check it out. That's the case so far. Just in its brass form. So something in my ultrasonic has reacted to the brass probably just the water and you can see it's dulled up all that mirrored part that I did all that hard work on so I'm gonna have to give that a polish again and then maybe clean it in some non-water based solution that's the case back I haven't touched this yet because I'm gonna just straight grain it by hand these are the pushers they don't look too great but well, i'll plate them anyway and see what they look like How's that looking? So I've got that polished up again and this time I'm going to clean it with some rinse aid so it doesn't react to the water again So I prepped the outside edge but I didn't want to 
touch this hippocampus logo instead I'll just straight grain it that should remove all the little blemishes and marks and scratches that you can see so I'll just line up these two tool points here and before you all scream at me and say it's a seahorse it's not it's a mythical creature known as a hippocampus so let's do this since you're here my special guest how's it going then we've been up to you know what those white things are where well, I used to make wristbands out of it was like a big fat roll of this white thing and then it was really stretchy oh that yeah I think it's on top of the drawer you know the wardrobe Oh, can you get it for me? I'm too short. You're too short? Yeah. <laughs> He's only got baby arms. He's only got baby arms. So that's it for this episode, friends. This is a watch I purchased for a bargain price so that I can really test out my lapping skills as it is the perfect type of case for the lapping machine. I tried to get those lines perfect on the case, but somehow I unintentionally ended up making my own bespoke case design. This is just a segment from the full video, which I'm still working on, but I didn't want to leave you guys without something to watch over the festive holiday period. This is just a rough cut, which will probably be whittled down to about 5-7 to seven minutes in the main video, so I hope you enjoy it. There is so much more to do on this restoration, so for those of you who are new to the channel and you want to see the progress of this Omega Jedi restoration, then I urge you to subscribe and bell up like, share and all that other good stuff. Peace and love to you all. Ta-ra!